Hey y'all, thank you for visiting. Today's YouTube video is on building parameters for an interactive user experience in Tableau, specifically allowing the user to switch between two different views. Some acknowledgement goes out here to the data school for inspiring me to create this video. So what is a parameter in Tableau? They basically enable users to add advanced calculations and calculated fields, allowing them to replace constant values in a calculation, a filter, or a reference line, for example. Why use them? To transfer control of the data from the report developer over to the end user and to improve user engagement and experience overall, giving users the power to change the views that they're seeing and to save space in your dashboards. Scenario we're going to be working on is switch between two different views. Let's start off with what we want the end result to be. So I'm just going to put this in presentation mode. So we're currently working on changing the views using the parameters on this view in the dashboard. Here is the parameter. As you can see, I switch over from the view showing total enrollment to average enrollment and back to total. So this is what the end result needs to be. This is the view that we built where we're able to switch eventually from total enrollment to average enrollment. So this is the first view showing total enrollment or the sum of the enrollment total. This is the other view showing average enrollment. So you're not seeing anything here yet because I've already applied the parameter action. If you go to the right of your screen, you have the parameter and you switch over the aggregation to average enrollment, you see that this is functioning. But to get to this stage and, be, and manipulate the aggregation levels or uh, the two sheets switching from one to the other, you will need to do a, a few steps. So build a parameter action, followed by calculated field, and show that parameter. This is what I'm going to show you right now. Now we are starting from scratch. Again, we have the two separate views here, total enrollment, average enrollment. I deleted the parameters and the calculated field, so you don't see them showing up here on the left. Step number one is to go ahead and create a new parameter. I'm going to name the parameter Choose Aggregation. The data type will be switched over to String. Leave the current value here and click on list under allowable values. So you have a, a couple of choices here. You can insert a number one for the value and display it as total enrollment for option number one. You can also just go ahead and name the value total enrollment. It really doesn't make a difference. It's kind of like a, it's what you prefer to show up and to calculate in your um, calculated field later on. So what you see in the display as column is what the users will end up seeing. The value itself is what you can see when you choose the parameter inside your calculated field. So I'm going to make it really kind of easy and use native language to describe the values in the display as um, field names as well. So number one is the total enrollment. Second one will be average enrollment and the display as values is automatically generated here. So this is what you do. This is the first step, creating the parameter. Click OK. Now when the parameter is created, you will see it displaying on the left-hand corner inside this area. And what you can do right now is go ahead, click to show the parameter. It's going to display automatically on the right-hand side underneath any filters that you may or may not have. And you see now if you click on it, you see the two different values that we selected or that we, that we put into the parameter, total enrollment and average enrollment. If you click on it now, nothing happens, right? Because for something to be generated and for the display or the view to be switched over to average, for instance, you'll need to insert um, a calculated field 
that will allow you to show the input and also switch between the, the two variables. So the next step is to create that calculated field. And let's name it choose bar graph. Now in here, the only thing that you need to do is go ahead and select that parameter. Now I like to add a couple of notes in here um, just to remind myself what it is I'm doing with this calculated field used with the parameter to select between worksheets. Click OK. You see the calculated field is right there. And the next step is to go ahead and drag and drop this calculated field into filters. When you do that, depending on which sheet you are in, you will see one value. So in this case, we are in the sheet total enrollment. Go ahead and select total enrollment. Click OK. Now I'm over in the average enrollment sheet and I showed the parameter for this sheet as well. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to average enrollment in order to match the information on this sheet. Then I'm going to drag and drop into filters the choose bar graph calculated field and select the average enrollment option. Click OK. Now if I switch back to total enrollment, you see that the view has a blank display. And this is because if you take a look over the filter option, or rather the parameter, it has selected the average enrollment. If you go ahead and click on this, go back to total, then you see the view is being generated accordingly. Go back to your average enrollment view. See that because the parameter is set to total enrollment, you know they switch it over to average. All right, so um, we have done all of the necessary steps in the sheets. And going back over to the dashboard, you'll see that we are now uh, viewing the information that we pre-selected, right? But over here, the parameter, the drop-down menu, still needs to be added. And the way that you do this is just click on that view and then go ahead, select parameters from that menu, click on choose aggregation, and, well, we're going to have to find it now because it automatically dropped it somewhere else in the dashboard. Yep, at the bottom. So there it is. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and you can either drag it over underneath your filters if that makes sense for your setup or structure. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to set this to a floating tile because I, I like to put the um, user option up at the top kind of make it it makes it a bit more effective and obvious to the user that they can um, create an action in this case um, change the aggregation level from total to average make it kind of more apparent for them and this is how this is functioning right now and I, I need to say that you can also change the um, parameter format to make it a, even more obvious that there is an action here that is um, uh, that the user may take um, and the way that you do this is by clicking on that tile and then choosing format parameters. You can change the shading to an orange, for example, and change the transparency to 100% or 25, depending on what makes sense for you. And uh, this is how you create a parameter with a calculated field option in order to add a bit more engagement um, for your users.